Hello everyone and welcome to a new video by Tristan. Also don't forget to check out Mickey's video I'll be posting tonight. So we're not going to focus on Matthew today, but I do want to mention something in this verse, which is the people, who, which is Jesus is referring here, the scribes and the Pharisees. Um, they neglected the weightier matters of law, the justice and the mercy and the faithfulness, the justice and judgment, but God is also merciful and just to forgive the ones who humbly come to him and receive him in their life, receive Jesus. And we're going to look at Zephaniah chapter 3. We're going to be going to verse 14 where he says, Sing aloud, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel, rejoice and exalt with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. There's something to celebrate about, because the ones who do good, God's going to reward. But as we saw all throughout this book that we're wrapping up today, we're going to be done with the book after this video. And if anybody has suggestions on something they want me to read through, I'll definitely willing to if anybody wants to comment a suggestion um so there is something to rejoice about here we see in the next verse the lord has taken away the judgments against you he has cleared away your enemies the king of israel the lord is in your midst you shall never again fear evil On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, let not your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. And this is where we have that hope. And we're able to rejoice because we trust in the Almighty. Because, as we look in this verse, it says, I will gather those of you who mourn for the festival, so that you will no longer suffer reproach. And I feel like, in my opinion, this could be referring to ones that were taken captive. Because that happened a lot throughout the Old Testament, is people being taken captive that are God's people. But they will no longer suffer reproach. No longer suffer shame, and they'll be able to enjoy the religious ceremonies and what they are wanting to enjoy, is how I look at it. Because the next verse says, Behold, at that time, I will deal with all your oppressors, and I will save the lame and gather the outcast, and I will change their shame into praise, and read known in all the earth. At that time, I will bring you in at that time, when I gather you together, for I will make you renowned and praised. Among all the peoples of the earth, when I restore your fortunes. And we saw that another time in the Bible where it says that God can restore our fortunes before your eyes, says the Lord. See, it says at, at the time when I gather you together, gather together God's people, the ones who pleased the Almighty and were humble and God found favor in. Because in the Old Testament, people were provoking the Lord to anger and people in any country can, even today. And it's tricky figuring out how provoking the Lord to anger in this time after the death and the resurrection of Christ is something interesting to look at. But before Christ, there was very wicked people and God wanted to gather out the certain people, the lame, the outcast. He wanted to change their shame into praise. And 
that is very interesting to look at because not only is God the God of judgment, he's got a hope and we're supposed to have faith in Jesus and trust in him. And it was tricky looking at these two forms of judgment, but we have to take recognition of it, that God can both punish people and he can do very, very good to people and reward them for their good works. And throughout this book, we've learned what we can do to be hidden in the day of the Lord's anger. We learned about the types of people that God is calling to repent. We looked all through the judgment and the hope. Because God is calling his people to be gathered. And I love how this book ends. It ends in such a beautiful way like that. Where, where he will deal with the oppressors. This judgment is taking place. But the fortunes are restored to the righteous people. The wicked will be cast out. Maybe in the end times when they bow their knee or when or when God brings upon them desolation and we have to we have to repent we have to ask God for forgiveness and we got to live a righteous and holy life and make that a lifestyle and although I'm not perfect at understanding the Word of God, making it a habit is so important. And just having the words, the living and breathing words of God in my mind is such a great thing to have. Because there will be conversations where a scripture will come to mind. And it's just beautiful being able to be empowered by the Holy Spirit and being guided by the love of Christ because he is mercy and just to forgive and it's beautiful being able to study judgment and mercy because God is a God of both and I enjoyed studying Zephaniah and how we were able to learn about that how through all that judgment there's always words of hope, words of faith, all throughout it, because as we read it, we see in different verses how, as it says here, the remnant of my people shall plunder them, and the survivors of my nation shall possess them. See, God is going to restore the fortunes of the righteous people. See, Moab shall become like Sodom and Gom shall become like Sodom and the Ammonites like Gomorrah. A land possessed by nettles and salt pits, and a waste forever, because God took out the wicked people and exalted the ones who trust in the Almighty. Because if we humble ourselves, the Lord will exalt us, and that is really important to to meditate on. Is how through making our faith in Christ, putting action toward that and momentum and pushing forward and doing what we can to live a righteous and holy life is what God wants from us. And God asks for us to improve and to come to him with a humble heart and to be able to live a righteous life, move away from the old ways of the flesh and walk in newness of life. Because we are a, a new creation. And thanks everyone that's been watching my videos. And I hope everybody has a blessed night. Thanks everyone for watching.